you're not sure how to see conversions in your Google Ads account, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways where you can see kind of what's going on or you know, potentially if you need to get some conversion tracking set up. So if you're in Google Ads uh, and when you're looking at the overview, typically you'll see some columns or some blocks here that populate this graph and we can change these around. <clears throat> so that we can view conversions or purchases or signups or whatever it is. But if we just do conversions, that's going to show us how many conversions we've gotten over the last month, right? So that's one quick way, and it's in graph format, so it's quite nice to be able to see just from day to day how things are changing. And then also if you select your campaign from the left column here, then you can see multiple campaigns well there's only one here but we have different columns here so we've got like conversion rate all conversions conversions cost per conversion conversion value conversion value over cost these are all conversion related metrics here and if you're not seeing any of these in your account then you would need to go to columns here and then modify columns and then that's going to allow you to select what you want here in these different columns. And by default, it depends on how your ads account is set up, but sometimes it's not going to show conversions at all. So you have to use that custom option and create you know, new columns here, essentially. And then within conversions, there are conversions and all conversions. So this can be a little bit confusing as well, but Conversions are the ones that you're tracking and you want your campaign to be optimized for. And then all conversions is, it includes other conversions that you're not necessarily telling Google to optimize for. So you can use this segments option here and go to conversions and conversion action, which will then give us a breakdown of where these conversions are actually coming from. And we can see that there are 10 repeat phone calls those get tracked in the all conversions column but not in the conversions column the reason is because we really want google to be optimizing for first time phone calls not repeat phone calls it doesn't necessarily help us sell more stuff if the same person calls us 10 times <laughs> versus 10 new people who give us a call right so that's why these columns are going to be typically are going to be a little bit different in terms of the conversions that they're reporting and all of these conversions are coming from the conversion actions. So under tools and settings, under measurement, if you go to conversions here, that's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And from here, you'll see the different conversion actions that we are, well, we saw some of them on the previous page, like submit lead form, tracking calls, first time phone calls, repeat phone calls. And then there's a conversion value associated with each of those so that we're getting an idea of how much money we're making from all these conversions that we're getting right and I won't go into depth about how to set each of these up but you just use this you know new conversion action go through set up all these different conversion actions that you want to be tracking and then those will start to populate as conversions in these columns and you can even segment to see exactly which action is getting you the most conversions. I do have other videos on my channel that go into more depth about how to set each of these up. So you can check those out. But I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to see your conversions in Google Ads or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me um, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.